good morning students today we are going to learn chapter about uh, trigonometry this is a branch of mathematics so about uh, to learn about the trigonometry uh, first of all we have to discuss uh, about the right angle triangle see the diagram what is given here so this is the wall and a person trying to whitewash the wall with the help of a ladder so he has taken the ladder in the position of a and c okay so by we by using this ladder he is trying to whitewash the wall after some time he wants to whitewash at the higher point higher position so the ladder position was changed again like this let us consider this new position of the ladder as a dash and this is a c dash see if you observe here the first ladder position was like a right angle triangle see this is the right angle triangle the first position according to the first position of the uh, ladder and the wall okay so this is a triangle a b c before changing the position of the ladder after changing the position of the ladder now the triangle is became like this see so this is the new triangle after changing the position of ladder the triangle is a dash b dash and c dash and if you observe in these two triangles see the before changing the position of the ladder the ladder makes angle theta with the ground this is the angle theta uh, angle between the ladder and the ground after changing the position of the ladder the angle between the ladder and ground is increased here theta value increased after changing the position of the ladder okay whenever the ladder is moves towards the wall the angle which it makes with the ground will be increased so this angle theta before changing the position of the ladder is increased after changing the position of the ladder now by changing the position of the ladder it affects the uh, angle which makes with the ground this theta value is increased at a dash okay by increasing of this angle what happened to the sides of the triangle let us observe once before changing the position of the ladder in triangle abc the side the side bc the side which is exactly opposite to the angle theta the side bc after changing the position of the ladder the opposite side to the a dash is b and c dash that means the size of the length of the side bc is increased as bc dash the side the side of uh, this opposite side is increased from bc to bc dash and again you have observe before changing the position of the ladder in the triangle abc this side is actually it is ab and after changing the position of the ladder the side the side becomes a dash and b okay means it was decreased the side this side is decreased from a b to a dash b that means before changing the position of the ladder this is the triangle bc and this is triangle ab okay after changing the ladder position now the triangle became like this okay that means here angle value is increased so according to that this side is increased and this side is actually the side is like this but it is decreased like this that means changing of once angle of a triangle it affect the side lengths of the sides of the triangle so this trigonometry is about to study that the effect of the sides 
by changing the angle in a triangle so now in trigonometry we are going to study about these topics so to understand that concepts let us consider one right angle triangle abc okay where perpendicular means 90 degrees angle is at b and all of you know that the longest side of the right angle triangle which is exactly opposite to the 90 degrees in the triangle the side which is exactly opposite to the 90 degrees is called hypotenuse this side is called hypotenuse okay now with respect to side angle a with respect to angle a the side which is exactly opposite to angle a this side is called opposite side and the side which is adjacent to, to that angle a it is called adjacent side so remember we have we are given naming of the three sides of the right angle triangle that side which is exactly opposite to the 90 degrees angle is hypotenuse okay if now if you are considering from point a vertex a means with respect to a the side which is exactly opposite to the angle a it is opposite side to angle a and the remaining third side is adjacent side to angle A okay right so now the ratios of two sides of these triangles suppose three sides are there here in right angle triangle let us choose opposite side and hypotenuse their ratio means comparing those two sides opposite side by hypotenuse opposite side by hypotenuse that is equals to what is the opposite side here bc by and what is the hypotenuse here ac okay so this ratio is defined as this ratio is defined as sin sin so we use only the first three letters of this word so this ratio is nothing but sin this is a trigonometric ratio it is named as sine the ratio of opposite side and hypotenuse is called sine and remember opposite side means with respect to which angle here we have taking opposite side with respect to angle a so that's what we have to mention here see means sine a means opposite side of a and by hypotenuse it is equals to bc by a in the same way we can define another trigonometric ratio now let us take another two sides adjacent side and hypotenuse side now another ratio here i am writing adjacent side by hypotenuse adjacent side by hypotenuse that is nothing but adjacent side is here ab by hypotenuse is nothing but ac now this ratio is called as cosine cosine so only first three letters we will use here so the trigonometric ratio is named as cos and a cos a without writing the angle the word cos won't give any meaning cos a means it is the ratio of adjacent side and hypotenuse adjacent side means it is adjacent to the angle a okay and next one more ratio we have completed up ratio of opposite and hypotenuse and ratio of adjacent and hypotenuse now the third ratio is about opposite and adjacent side okay now opposite side by adjacent side opposite side and adjacent side so that is equals to opposite side is bc by adjacent side is ab and the ratio it is called as tangent tangent here we have to take only the first three letters so it is named as tan a so tan a is a trigonometric ratio about 
opposite side and adjacent side so here the opposite side is about to angle a and the adjacent side is also about to angle a means with respect to angle a we are defining the ratios here we can use any angle from this triangle in the formula so you can also write the formula with respect to angle c also the formula will be same there will be no change if we change this uh, vertex points in that formulas these are called the basic trigonometric ratios and we will study the trigonometric concept by using these trigonometric ratios now there are three more trigonometric ratios which are multiplicative inverse of these trigonometric ratios that means the multiplicative inverse of this sine ratio that means multiplicative inverse reciprocal of this ratio that is hypotenuse by hypotenuse by opposite side the reciprocal of the sine ratio opposite side by hypotenuse multiplicative inverse is hypotenuse by opposite side this ratio is named as cosecant cosecant here we have to use the first five letters cosec and the angle should be mentioned must here it is cosecant a okay so cosecant a trigonometric ratio is nothing but the multiplicative inverse of sin a in the same way the reciprocal of that means reciprocal multiplicative inverse of cos ratio is nothing but hypotenuse by adjacent side hypotenuse by adjacent side so it is named as secant secant the first three letters we have to use here this is secant a and the one more trigonometric ratio that is multiplicative inverse of tan ratio means multiplicative inverse of opposite side by adjacent side is nothing but that is opposite side by opposite side by sorry adjacent side by opposite side adjacent side by opposite side so it is cotangent its name is cotangent the first three letters we have to take here so that is part a part a so total six trigonometric ratios are mentioned here sin cos tan and their reciprocals mean multiplicative inverse part secant cosecant these are the six trigonometric ratios six trigonometric ratios which will be helpful in studying the trigonometric concepts see from this question identify hypotenuse opposite side and adjacent side for the given angles in the given triangles see this is the first in the first question the triangle named as pqr and the 90 degrees as at q okay so here we have the for the three sides we have to name them as hypotenuse opposite side and adjacent side with respect to the given angles first of all 90 degrees is at q so the side which is opposite to the 90 degrees angle it should be named as hypotenuse hypotenuse now remaining two sides one side will be opposite side another side will be adjacent side to consider them you have to uh, consider this angle which is given in the question for angle r for angle r means this is the vertex point r means this is the angle at r so from this angle means with respect to this angle the side which is exactly opposite to this angle the side pq is now opposite side and the remaining third side is nothing but the adjacent side adjacent side now in the second triangle it is named as xyz and 90 degrees is given here at z so the side which is exactly opposite to the 90 degrees 
it is named as hypotenuse okay before uh, naming opposite and adjacent first of all you have to identify the hypotenuse from the triangle so the side which is opposite to the 90 degrees is hypotenuse and now to this define opposite and adjacent side you have to consider the angle given the, in the first question he has mentioned that that you have to do with respect to angle x so this is the angle x and vertex point is x is here so this is the vertex angle x so the side which is exactly opposite to the side x it is opposite side opposite side means opposite type side to the angle x and the remaining third side is nothing but the adjacent side adjacent side this naming opposite and adjacent are with respect to angle x only and now another question is also given here now you have to name opposite and adjacent side with respect to y with respect to y okay so this is vertex point y and now with respect to angle y the side which is exactly opposite so this xz is opposite side to angle y and the remaining third side this is adjacent side this zy is nothing but adjacent side to the angle y see hypotenuse is always fixed the remaining two sides will be named as opposite and adjacent with respect to one vertex of the triangles here with respect to angle x with respect to angle x the opposite side is opposite side is with respect to x is yz and the adjacent side is mentioned as xz but coming to angle y with respect to angle y the opposite side is xz and adjacent side is nothing but yz and hypotenuse is fixed hypotenuse is fixed that is nothing but xy 